hello there welcome to this tutorial and this tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how to create a dual carriageway using autocad civil 3d landex to companion 2009 uh, let's go over to cross section i'm going to go over to templates but before then please make sure you are using a blank drawing workspace area if you're not go to new create a new drawing and use work on a blank space drawing area so this is my blank space work area so i'm going to go to autocad cross section so i'm going to take on template i'm going to go to draw template i'm going to say autocad is asking me starting point i'm going to just click on any point so grade in percentage so now if you are going up the hill and the highway is upgrade which is positive and if you are descending is negative so i'm going my my carriageway the grade i'm going to take 2.5 i'm going to take 2.5 so 2.5 so that is it 2.5 so since i'm going upward so i'm going to leave it like this so that i can see what i'm saying so I'm going to go upward so since it will courage with 3.65 times 2 or plus 2 it's going to give me 7.3 so I'm going to say since I'm going upward and to my left it's going to be negative if I'm going towards my right on this my offset is going to be positive but since I'm going towards my left it's going to be negative negative 7.3 so I'm going to go here so you can see it's towards my left so this is my slope this is my starting point and this is my ending point so i'm going to right click to remove this come on let me see okay so i'm going to come over here so we are creating one section of the road one section of the dual courage way so I'm going to create my shoulders. It's going to be the grade. I'm coming in downwards. I'm descending now. So it's going to be negative. I'm using a grade percentage of 4.5 to have a very good slope. So I'm going to use my shoulders. I'm going to use one. I'm going to use this is two meters. So I'm going to use two meters i'm going to use two meters so since i'm coming towards the right is positive i'm going to use two meters so this is it i'm going to clear off that command and i'm going to click in to clear off that command so i'm going to go to offset or oh, just in order not to be going back and forth i can just enter a command o oh, for offset i'm going to click enter so I'm going to my asphalt I'm going to say 75 so I'm going to say 0 0 0.075 and click enter so this is my asphalt my asphalt 75 millimeters thick so I'm going to say enter I'm going to go back O enter the thickness of my base I'm going to say 250 so I'm going to use 0 0.25 25 and so thickness I'm going to enter my granular base I'm going to say also 2 point 0 0.25 which is 250 millimeters so this is it I'm going to go to create my slope because I'm taking a 1 is to 2 slope so 1 for horizontal vertical 1 for vertical one two for horizontal which is 45 degrees slope so i'm going to go put it on auto make sure the line is straight not that not to have a line that is broken so i'm going to say one for vertical and i'm going to say two for horizontal so that's it and i'm going to come back and close it right click to clear off the command so I'm going to go to extend. I'm going to go to extend. I'm going to extend this to my slope. 
I'm going to extend this also and I'm going to do tick on my line command close my hash fat close it so hash fat is closed so it's looking a little bit scattered let's make it fancy so we're going to go to trim this as a select select object or all so I'm going to right click to select all so I'm going to click trim 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 so I'm going to right click to to press enter to remove the extend command and I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to erase I'm going to erase it now this is one section of the road so this is one section of the road now let's try and see how fancy for all this is so this is how fanciful it is so we have created the dual carriageway so it's pretty cool and pretty nice you can just uh, mirror it you can just mirror it and make it to 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 look pretty cool what you have done so this is it pretty lovely i'm going to pick a center line and make sure it's straight for my dual carriageway i'm going to make it look nice and neat so that's my center i'm going to pick a center line for it so I'm gonna hit escape to clear up the grid. This is my dual carriageway template that I have created successfully to use for my roadway section and prepare my cross section in 25 meters intervals. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video.